Super excited! My well, one of my females just spawned. Uh, well, rather, one of my females just successfully spawned. Uh, I had another female who spawned. Uh, I kind of messed that up. I was trying to isolate her. She ended up eating her own fry. She was kind of young, so it's kind of to be expected. But an actual, uh, an actually younger female just spawned. Well, spawned, and now she's got fry out. Uh, I was, I'm really happy about this because I was really, 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 really worried about my cave system because I realized that the leaves were kind of covering most of the caves um, kind of covering, they were, were all covering most of the caves um, and I was kind of scared they weren't being, they weren't uh, able to get into the caves and spawn I was incorrect um, and I'm just so happy that, that they finally spawned I'm gonna bring the camera back up and she is Guarding this little corner right over here pretty well. I mean, nothing's really wanting, nothing wants to attack her. Um, try and focus on the. There we go. So there she is, guarding this little corner of this tank, and you can see her fry right below her. Uh, don't think that that is all of the fry that she has. I'm sure there are more somewhere else, but uh, yeah. So. Got by Tanny out of fry, and can't wait to see how these guys turn out. Uh, obviously, they're probably gonna look some basically exactly like their father and their mother, but ooh, really hope none of the Tetras attack. Um, she's pretty out and about with it. Like, let's back up some more. She's out, like she's taking that little corner. Um, any of the the uh, Tetras can come and take away the fry, but they just kind of leave her alone. Um, which is good, because these are dither fish tetras, so I was hoping that they would just leave her alone. Um, now what I really, really, really want to see, and what I never got to see with my cockatoides uh, colony, is females stealing fry. Um, sounds kind of evil to want to see that, but it's a tactic that they use to uh, train their own fry, basically. Um, so her fry, the oldest in this tank, the next person, the next female who spawns might steal her fry just to train th their own, which is something that I've never witnessed and I would love to see. Um, yeah, super excited. None, none of the fish uh, even like care about it. Um, got three angels in here, and that one needs to leave because they try to kill him 24/7. I think the other two are bonded, but not totally sure if they're actually a male and female. Hopefully they spawn. <laughs> I can have two spawns going in, uh, going on in this tank at the same time uh, with two different cichlid species. That would be pretty funny. Um, they've been cleaning off Valsarinia for the past like month. Um, yeah. Super hyped about this. Hopefully the other female starts spawning. Uh, I'm thinking about taking this side of the tank and clearing it of some of like I don't know maybe 40% of its leaf litter um, and then filling the space back in with plants uh, mostly because there's plenty of cover over there but there isn't much access to the caves um, and it doesn't look as nice as I expected it to it doesn't fill up as much space so gotta change that around but yeah Mr. Gamma Bataniata Rio Tigre Fry. Now, I was also really worried that uh, the female wouldn't spawn because the pH monitor that I had was reading at like 6.7, which is technically high for them. Uh, well, it's not high, but it's higher than what they're uh, usually found in. Um, Probably a faulty pH monitor, considering there are over 400 uh, Indian almond leaves and about 30 or 40 uh, regular oak tree leaves in here. So pH is probably more like 6.0, 5.7, something like that. And I use pure RO water, so I doubt it's in this like upper sixes. 
to the sevens. I uh, probably need to get a new probe, so that sucks, but yeah. Chasing away an auto cat. Just gonna leave it here until my camera battery runs out. thing to add um just a little reminder kind of a, I guess a sneak preview of uh htbadc uh the advice um since there are so many indian almond leaves and they've been in here for uh as long as the tank's been running month and a half two months i don't know but um those fry i won't have to feed them directly um, I can occasionally spruce up the diet with microworms and, uh, what am I thinking of? Microworms and baby brine shrimp uh, if I really need to, but for the most part, they've got enough uh, live microorganisms just living in and around the leaves uh, to sustain them until they get to a uh, size big enough to eat, um, like mic micro blood worms and stuff like that. So, I don't really have to feed them either. So that's just a double benefit. But I'm um, again. <laughs>
everybody right. I just got in some Epistogramma by Taniata, Rio Tigre from Ted Trudy. Uh, they like came in at 9 in the morning today and I just went and got them and uh, I still haven't opened the pack yet.